Hey yo there ladies and gentlemen, it's Valen and welcome back to Final Fantasy Tactics, The War of the Lions. Last episode, it turns out that we found out a good bit about Dice Stark's plot. Murdering Duke Larg, and now plotting some sort of scheme behind everyone's back to see House Beowulf rise and take center stage. But, that is what we do not know, or our party doesn't. What, however, what they do know is we have assaulted the front of the fort and is now progressing our way forward. Without any further ado, let's be off. Alright, so with this current setup, what are we going to take? Hmm. Kind of. You know what? We're going to take both of our casters. And then Lady Agris and the main hero, Balthiel, shall be taken the second position. Ramses would be good enough to defend uh, Agris and Arnot. Not Agris, Leo Fuane and Arnot. Oh, so I was wrong. This is the fight I was thinking about. My mistake then. This is the one with all the knights and the black mage. This is that's right, it's the continuation. Okay. Of course, the sluice. Yeah. With the sluice open, the lake's waters will flood everything downstream. Battle will be impossible. Gotcha. Open the sluice. Isn't it called a dam? Eh, what? But, as things stand right now, let's see how. Hmm. Let's get Baltia right here. Can he hit anything? He can hit you. Can he hit you? Nope. Dam's in the way. And, yeah, we'll hit you. Pew! Still kind of irked by their sound. sounds. Sounds like Peacher. There should be a lever at either end of the sluice. Pull both le levers and the sluice will open. Now to reach them without getting killed. That's easy for you guys. You're... Uh, ooh. 48%. You know what? I like a challenge, but that's a bit too much of a challenge. Can Unholy Sacrifice hit you both? Nope, only one. Uh, Crushing Blow, yes. And boom! Stop! No, he didn't stop. 240. And now you're gonna come up here. Smack this Black Mage in the head. And that's one of the most dangerous things down. Holy crap, that's a good bit of damage you're gonna pump out. Um, haste. Actually need to get her to a bit of safety. I do not want to risk that. Ooh. Can we? Can we hit him? Yes, we can. So... Oh, really? I thought it would give me a higher percent chance. Do I want to use Barrage for this? We could kill him. No. Not dead. Yes! We disabled him. Wasn't a dangerous enough situation yet for Barrage. That's how powerful Balthier is. He has to hold himself back. He cannot release his true potential unless in dire need. Oh, snap, that still hits. Oh, well, nothing else can really hit her. Hey, you ruined the music. Jerk, I don't care about your level up. You're about to die. Really? A stone? You're a knight, and you've resorted to throwing stones. Ha! <laughs> Zero, one percent. He's like, oh my god, I can't do anything. And you all are lined up perfectly to get unholy sacrificed. 
Uh, Kira on her. I'll just wait. It's a shame that all we really do now is we use our summoner for um, healing and our time mage for haste, and that's about it. Blocked it. Loser. You fail. Well, the air will show you how to truly be a marksman. Ah, uh, you can't do it. Oh, that's so sad, ain't it? That's sad. Five. Can we do a leg shot on you to get you to stand still? Yes, we can. Haha! -ha! Now you're in perfect range to get Divine Runetationed. Look at there. Not only does he pump out the most damage, or a ton of damage, I shouldn't say the most, but he's a perfect strategist. And boom. Holy snap. Both of them gone for the price of 113 HP. And... Why would we even need to open the sleuth? These guys aren't even dangerous. Especially since we've leveled up so much. Holy... Iris, where did this little damage come from? Okay. I'll take it. And he's confused. Perfect. But he can't hit anything, so it doesn't even matter. And... Move you up. Let's get you to heal Ramza. I mean, Balin. And... Boo, boo, boo. Right there. And... Pop! Yeah, that unholy sacrifice is a ton of damage. Then he regenerates. Come on, this this little back and forth, it's not gonna keep working. Just just run away. Just jump into the water and hopefully when we release the sleuths, everything will come pouring down. Oh, well. Blocked. Can't even hit him. Can we hit you? Ooh. Ugh. That kind of unsettling. Why you no wish to die, huh? Come on, man. Let's take the chance. Ha! We did it. Because we're the best. And okay. Can we can we not activate the sluice unless we're on top of them? Ah, uh, that's a shame. Hopefully, it'll still do the opening animation. Oh, my elevation's too high to do that. Okay, never mind. Elevation is too high. I really wanted to show the sluice being torn open because it's kind of a cool scene. But if it doesn't, then sadness. I guess you could always look it up. Let's see. Get a cure on you. Wow, six turns. Okay. Maybe if we do one like this. There we go. Boom! Yeah, these guys, their corpses are blocking the contraptions. Dead. And now there was only one. Really? He should have just ran away. Should have just ran away. But, we're ruthless murderers, so everyone dies, and don't even bother releasing the sleuths. Aw, so I guess we don't get a scene. Oh no, this is it. 
this should do it. Okay, so yeah. We have to wait for the corpses to turn into treasure chests or crystals. Boom. Pretty cool, pretty cool. That water animation, though. Count Orlando, we've come. Oh, it. Aha. I pray you've kept well, my lord. Well enough, as you can see. Wow, he didn't need. He wasn't in trouble. And this must be Valen. How you've grown, boy. Still, I recognize you at once. Have we met, Excellency? Yes, though I cannot cannot say I'm surprised that you've forgotten. You were only a child for some three or four years at the time. You gave us all quite a fright trying to lift my sword. Your father gave you a scolding that left you in tears. <laughs> but at least you weren't hurt. <laughs> and now here you've come to rescue me. I thank you. There's no need to kneel. The battle is ended. With only light casualties on either side, this too thanks to the help of Valen and his comrades, or companions. Same thing, eh. We've managed to hold the fires of war at bay for a time. I see. You are a worthy son of Barberneth, young Valen. There are many who owe you, owe you their thanks, and I give it now in their stead. And mine with it, to be sure. I do only what must needs to be done. Needs to be done. <clears throat> I see your likeness to ba Barnabeth. Barnabeth is more than skin deep. Your deeds honor him, boy. Pray forgive my interruption. But Duke Gotana means to execute your excellency on the morrow. We should waste no time in fleeing. Is as she says, my lord. We should continue this elsewhere. Yes, yes. It wouldn't do for me to remain here with Goltana and his ill temper. Oren! The hour of this war will not be long in the coming. In coming. Until it does, I mean to travel with Valen. We must put a stop to the High Confessor's plans. Then I will go with you, my lord. <laughs> no. You will return to Zeltania and see to the safety of Lady Ovalia. She alone is the rightful heir to the throne. You must think that she has come to her. Hey, you must see that she comes to no harm. I understand. Very well, Valen. Well, Valen. You've no objections, I trust. None at all, my lord. Then let's away before we're found. And like that, we get a sword saint. I'm sorry, okay, I thought he was a divine knight. No, he is a sword saint. With the blade Excalibur. Nah, we don't want him. Of course we want him. However, he will... I don't think he'll find a place on my team. I may do some rearranging and see what can be done, but... Uh, I like Lady Agris. I have to relook at him and see what's done. It's been years since I took a proper thorough look. How long has the sluice been open? I suffer a plague of fools. You called for me, Excellency. You are to gather a com company of soldiers and move against the northern sky at once. The waters from the sluice make movement difficult enough let alone fighting. What sauce for the goose is sauce for the gander? This is an opportunity we cannot let pass. They will not be expecting an attack if they slip away now. Who will say how long this war may drag on? I must refuse. Refuse? Oh, snap. Betrayals all around. How, <coughs> how dare you? 
No man would wish to see you king. <coughs> oh, all my fat. <laughs> my fat rodent. Then he gets up. Oh, it turns out my fat protected me from the blow. Oh, really? No, oh, that's your death. Oh, wrong voice. Blah, 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 blah. I got my tones is confused. Know that your death is not in vain. Galvados devout. Oh. The vanity would be in living when Saint Adorn calls me to his side. I'm going to give you a stupid voice. Give you a stupid voice because you're a stupid person. The real Count Orlando has escaped with Valen. Then we cannot. Then we can but hope that Valen does not fail us. High Confessor Marshall comes forward with his offer to meditate peace between the camps. But though their leader has been lost, their capacity to make war has not. The High Confessor's offer fell on deaf ears. I made for Limberry, for Alma. Wow, just now you're deciding to go for Alma? What's wrong with you, man? What's wrong with you? Well, it seems like our hero has finally gotten his priorities in order, but I guess having a sword saint is not so bad to help you rescue your sister. Though, let's actually, before we conclude, let's, uh, let's give Count Orlando... Orlando, however you pronounce it, a proper inspection. Sword play. Judgment blade, cleansing strike, northward strike, hollow bolt, and divine rotation. The usual setup for a holy knight. Crush armor, crush helm, weapon, accessory. Um, reoccurring things for divine knights, and I believe dusk blade and shadow blade are only for fell knights. I'm not completely 100% positive. Employ the power of darkness to absorb the target's HP, pretty much like Satin Blade or Satchelin Blade, I forget which it's called. And Dust Blade, employ the power of darkness to absorb the target's MP, which is the Inferno Blade, I believe. Let me see here. JP boost, eh, level 67 is not too bad. We, we may, we may. Um, let me see how. What was the abilities called? All the way down. Let's... Sanguine Blade and Infernal Strike. There we go. F Sanguine Sword. I'm sorry. Where do I get Blade out of Sword? Eh. 20. How much... He has 20. How much do you have? 18. <sighs> it is now time to equip Ramza with a proper weapon. Yes! Yes! He is now the power. Remember whenever he was a child and tried to lift the blade? And now he wields it like he owns it. I don't know. It always felt weird for me to do that. It's something I've done every playthrough, playthrough just because Excalibur's a really strong sword, but... God, does it feel awkward. It's like, uh, uh, you plan on giving that back, right? I'll think about it. But, that's enough rabble and banter. That will conclude today's episode. I hope you all have a wonderful day and a great evening. This has been Valen. See ya.